Have you ever wondered where heat comes from? We feel warmth from the sun, a crackling campfire, or even the heat from our own bodies. But have you ever stopped to think about how heat is actually made? Heat can be generated in different ways. And once you know how it works, you'll start noticing it everywhere. Let's explore the main ways heat is produced. One of the most common ways to generate heat is friction. Friction happens when two surfaces rub together, creating resistance. That resistance produces heat. Try rubbing your hands together quickly. At first, they're just moving, but soon you feel warmth. That's friction in action. This same process happens in machines, like when brakes on a bike heat up as they slow the wheels down. Another way heat is produced is through chemical reactions. Some substances release energy as heat when they react. A great example of this is burning. When you light a candle, the flame is a result of a chemical reaction between the wax and oxygen in the air. The same thing happens in a fireplace or a car engine where fuel burns and produces heat energy. Heat can also be generated by electricity. Many appliances, like toasters, ovens, and hair dryers, work by running electricity through special wires called heating elements. These elements resist the flow of electricity, and that resistance creates heat. Ever touch the back of your laptop when it's been on for a while? That's heat being generated by electric components working hard. Another source of heat is the sun. The sun is like a giant energy factory, constantly producing heat through nuclear reactions. Deep inside the sun, tiny particles called atoms smash together, releasing huge amounts of energy. That energy travels through space and reaches Earth as heat and light, warming our planet and making life possible. Finally, there's geothermal heat, which comes from deep inside the Earth. Below the surface, intense pressure and radioactive decay generate heat, which sometimes escapes through volcanoes, hot springs, and geysers. Some places even use geothermal energy to heat homes and buildings. Heat is all around us, coming from friction, chemical reactions, electricity, the sun, and deep inside the earth. Whether it's the warmth of your hands after rubbing them together, the heat from a burning fire, or the sun warming your face on a summer day, heat is constantly being produced in different ways. Now that you know how, keep an eye out. You'll start spotting heat generation everywhere.